series plus my on the screen and welcome back to the Doctor Who DVD collection in this part, part 4 I think it is, uh, we'll be looking at the 5th Doctor's era, Peter Davison. Uh, so let's get started where we left off at the end of the New Beginnings set <coughs> with Castrovalva. I like Castrovalva, it's a uh, good debut story, um, it's not the best in the world, it's, but, you know, it's, it's okay. Uh, for to Doomsday, in my opinion, this is one of his weakest. It's not great. It's really slow. It takes forever to, to for the plot to kick in, and um, yeah, it's it's not great. Kinder, fantastic one, absolutely fantastic Kinder. Um, it's creepy more than anything. It's um, one of Peter Davison's absolute best. <coughs> visitation, I love the Visitation. Um, yeah, I just absolutely love it. Black Orchid, many say this is one of his worst, but I, I don't mind it. It's um it's okay, it's I don't mind it. Earthshock, uh that's amazing. Earthshock is just brilliant. Um Yeah, love Earthshock. Time flight. Time flight mixed opinions to be honest. <laughs> it's uh, the first two parts are okay but then it just goes just really bad and it's not as bad as people make it out to be some people like call it the worst story of all time it's not that bad but it's not great Arkham Infinity it's good but they completely ruined Omega in it uh, Omega is just gone he's nothing like how he was in the three doctors he's just been completely ruined in it, so uh, yeah, not that great. Snake Dance, uh, the sequel to Kinder. In my opinion, Kinder is much better than this, but it doesn't mean it's bad. Snake Dance is still an enjoyable um, story, even though it's not as good as Kinder. Uh, now we have the Black Guardian trilogy, with kicking off with Mordrin Undead. Um, I really like Mordrin Undead. I um, like how it brings like two versions of Brigadier together, and um, yeah, it's uh, I really like Mordrin Undead. Terminus, or as I like to call it, Terminal Boredom. Oh, I don't. I hate Terminus. I really do. Terminus is so boring. It's it's slow. And this is pretty good in it because it's a send off, but. That's the only really redeeming factor about Terminus. Uh, Enlightenment, it's okay. It's um, not that bad. It's a uh, yeah. It's an intriguing concept. I I like the concept, uh, but it, it's okay. It's okay. The Five Doctors. Now the Five Doctors is uh, brilliant. Uh, Terence Sticks did a uh, good job at uh, bringing all the incarnations of the Doctor uh, from that point together, and especially because uh, obviously William Hartnell passed away they had to get Richard Herndall and um, I think they pulled it together and uh, everyone loves the five doctors don't they warriors of the deep oh god warriors of the deep again it's it's awful it really is it, it I don't the classic series has always come under fire for, for the for its special effects and I'm, I'll be the first one to say that they it isn't about the special effects, it's about the story, but this, the murker cannot be excused from this one. It's absolutely horrid. Um, Warriors of the Deep is, yeah, horrible. The Awakening, I really like The Awakening, actually. It's um, my favourite of the two-part stories that you had in Peter Davison era. era. You had Black Orchid, which was two parts, and then you had The Awakening, which was two parts. And then I think another one was two parts, but I'm not sure. Um, but I really like The Awakening, it's uh, not bad at all. Resurrection of the Daleks. Resurrection of the Daleks, I really, really like. Um, yeah, I uh, love Resurrection of the Daleks. It's actually one of my favourite Dalek stories. Um, I think it's better to watch it in two parts, um, because it keeps the story flowing, but unfortunately I can't, because one of the discs on mine is a bit broken, because I got it from Forbidden Planet, and... Uh, it's, it's, the disc is damaged, so I can only watch the four-part version, which kind of sucks. And then we have the legend Caves of Androzani. The Caves of Androzani is 
absolutely brilliant. It's one of the very best stories ever made. So there we go, the Peter Davidson era. Next time we'll be looking at the sixth Doctor, Colin Baker, a, the, a, a very underrated Doctor, and I think we'll be doing Sylvester McCoy as well next time, and Paul McGann, so um, we'll do, be doing three Doctors next time. So um, yeah, uh, I'll see you next part.